Yeah. So, guys, welcome back. Welcome back. You're still tuned in to Fantastic Fridays. We are in the final half hour of the show. So, I know it's a bittersweet. Listen, it's Already? like time does fly. But don't worry about it. We still have some things to cover. But maybe you want, you know, fasten everybody's business look a bit. You know, or what are our resolutions? It's better the people that make proper resolutions. Yeah. Let's work on ours as well. So let me know all fairies, not the thing. Workshop, so, workshop. Like for me, mm -hmm. every year, I'm like the average person. Mm -hmm. we could work, we could work, um, start work out and lose weight. Yeah. And, yeah. So over the past couple of years, I've done everything wrong in terms of that. Right? No, not everything wrong. But you're doing I so think wrong everything stuff. wrong in terms of. Mister, I'm somebody I don't. I'm not afraid of working out. In terms of, you know, stress me out. Me work out. Yeah. Diet thing on my team. Don't tell me that. Food too nice. Don't tell me cut back on food. Don't yeah, tell food me say don't nice. eat certain thing, yeah. right? So I used to tell people me work out as long as they tell me. And mm. the trainer tell me say run up daily and come back. I will do it. You're not a problem. But with that. don't tell me nothing about food. Yeah. But over the years, I found out, as they've always said, you can't outwork a bad diet. So, yeah, it was a hard reality. So I started making adjustments and so on, and even like like, like last year now. When I start work out, I go hard, you know, like, guys, twice a day in a week for the morning, exercise. Yeah, came Reach home, rhythm. exercise. Yeah, came Re yeah, came yo, I to got yeah. into it, and I was eating properly or whatever, but guess what? As much as it was working short term, that was not something I could do long term. You could that have done it long term, but you just no, fall off. I the could one not commit to fit. All right, so the thing is, especially with fitness, and that's mm. what I hear all her trainers say, don't look for like a short notice chain. A short chain oh. is a lifestyle. Yeah. Do things that you can do for life. Mm. Can I get up every morning and oh. every evening and do so that you're every doing day? Too much for if the I time. was only eating three things, can I eat these three things for the rest of my life? Mm. No. no. And that's the. That's the main downfall for most of us do something that's realistic so for example you can jump in and then fit tease or something because a fit tea first of all is not healthy mm -hmm. and second is not something you can do long term right. it's not something you should be doing long term yeah, because yeah. some health concerns are going to come up sometimes you shouldn't even be doing it short and you shouldn't you shouldn't <laughs> be doing it none to other. So i said it's not yeah. safe but even if you're doing it mm -hmm. you can't do it long term so the thing is i would start mm -hmm. january start i'm gonna go hard yeah. probably out till mid-february so after that yeah, I keep up because it's not something that I can make a lifestyle. Mm. So, so the changes you make, make it something that you can actually fit your life into. So nobody say like, for example, nobody say um, nobody say you're gonna do six hours a day. That was it. So when I started working out, work. exactly. When I started oh, wow. working out, me to feel like two hours not for work out because yeah. you not work out unless you work out yeah. two hours. Yeah. Everybody in the gym, you're sitting yeah. there for two, three what hours. So you doing? feel like that's yeah. what you have to do. Mm. But then I've learned from research, as we said earlier. Mm. Even 20, 30 minutes make a difference, you know? All right, 30 minutes, do, do we have to go like 30 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, three times a, a day. Week? No, I actually, that's if I did, them say minimum three, three to four yeah. times a week. Mm -hmm. So that's another thing. I was seven days a week working mm -hmm. out two times a day. Oh, it's a seven day Adventist. Listen. Mm -hmm. So I felt proud and was like, yo, I'm doing this. And then, see by both February. And then school stress start, mm. work stress start, yeah. life mm. is life in yeah, everything. Miss day, yeah. You start miss, you, you miss one nice day. day in the week done. You miss one day, they're like, ah, day two. I start <laughs> next week. Day three, right? So what I started doing I this year? In one. What? The two days in one. What do you mean? I tell myself like, okay, so. If so if you example, miss Monday, you're going to do Tuesday, Tuesday and, two times. Monday and, and Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday together, I used to do that, but yeah. once again, you have to be very realistic right. with yourself. And so for me, it's Monday, it's possible that the time isn't enough. So you have to exactly. tell yourself you're going to put two things by and life, one and day life. when you're enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what I've started doing, right? Firstly, if I if miss a day, I don't beat up myself right, right? so that's right. one of the things when we skip a day we feel so bad and guilty right, and, right. and we feel like oh the whole plan mash up no yeah, no it no mash up <laughs> it no mash up you can still get right back to it mm. right and i'm more realistic my, my, you know the cut out rice my cut out bread my cut out because chances are at some point in my life i can eat rice yeah. again i can eat pasta again i can eat bread I again fridge, right so and it's a cheap it's cheaper than most of the other things that Budget, we want to buy of course. so it's no more about moderation mm. probably if i do have an option then at some time we'll switch it or like a two spooner right? yeah or i so said give me a little less Instead rice or if i can right? and we say boy enough food and i'm have it then give me the food mm. but if not i'm not the rice then we just change my portion yeah. so you accommodate what your lifestyle is yeah. I can't afford vegetarian food every day. Vegetarian food half the time don't taste that great. Right? So be realistic. Mm -hmm. Right? So those are some of the things I've learned, guys. 
I don't know what I did say. We want to find about some resolutions. Yeah, Jada, come talk to me. She did say she did art to, she want to find her purpose. So oh, right. we need to narrow that one down. That's what purpose, very general. What? Purpose in life, purpose at school, purpose at home. Purpose First of all, church, is it that you kind of feel purpose? right now that you're not sure exactly which direction you want to head into? Okay, is that the motivation? You feel like you're out here in a sea and you're not sure left, right, straight Jada ahead. Doesn't feel like you don't feel like yourself so, so you feel like you need to find a purpose so that's the motivation behind it so what is, right. what should jada feel like jada, i don't they don't have even come in here and say hi it's not up here the energy mm -hmm. is just not there so jada is when the energy is up here jada, that's jada mm -hmm. i personally just like being bubbly and mm -hmm. all of that so bubble are cool down you know it's it mm -hmm. okay. when you know you open a pepsi I ain't hear it. You ain't hear that. So you know there's something wrong with the Pepsi. Something wrong with the Pepsi. Uh, yeah. So you put it back. So you put it back. No, I'm going to open it already. I'm going to buy it. Shh. Oh. Stop loading of our business. I thought business. you were making the Pepsi sound. <laughs> Stop loading of our business. Anyway. Miss Deva. Miss mm -hmm. Deva, never, never, never. Mm -hmm. Very, Very clever. clever. Mm -hmm. uh, what is, or what is one of, I know you probably may have one yeah. of one. And it's not for me the resolution. Probably gonna set the resolution. Yeah, one of your goal then. What do you want to achieve the year? Yeah. Some resolution, really. I want to be healthier, so I want to start eating healthier. May not put the workout thing funny yet. Yeah. Because I'm not committing to that. But, yeah. never, but I want to at least start eating healthier. But never, yes, Lima and Trim, what you talking about? Um. Not because I'm slim though. Yeah, and you health. are one of those Jamaicans that no, believe see, that I and it's not him. true. I have to ask the question and what the people want to ask. I'm yeah? slim. I'll let me know the answer. I've never asked mm -hmm. it to see me so okay. the people can okay. hear. Okay. So true, I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Yeah. But I, I got a doctor too much time last year yeah. because I'm in health and oh, I just want to improve that. See, they yeah. know. See, yeah. I need to eat better and and stop making the doctor see your face. I and YouTube bullets so I can make milkshakes and instead stuff. of sodas yeah and i'm healthy food expensive true, yeah true, true. so me just a try find a way around that yeah find like a tips and tricks mm -hmm. yeah life right, fast. That's all right so yeah, some of guys look out for tick up deva yeah uh-huh yeah no so deva yet. work on the oh. health so guess so is it true that area yeah. <laughs> when deva do her research mm -hmm. oh she come here a week time and tell what she uh, learned so she's gonna get, educate each other and not only thing. educate oh no mm -hmm. she educate herself to help with her goal same thing jada so, godo same thing, me are going to serve your resolution. So or the one board, the, the cardboard, they're not going to No, we're not going to pull up no cardboard. Yeah, we're going to we'll choose a one go exactly. <laughs> and they're going to tell me how to make it healthy, yeah? All right. Sir, what is your resolution? Ah, jeez. Right now. One of the many. Because <laughs> it's so like you got your few. Where's the resolution? Yes, a goal that you, something you want to achieve to better yourself this year. In what way? <sighs> Why, Kim? All right, we say we are going to, we say we are going to, um, we are going to, Build up the 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 the, the they call it now entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you want to work from the business. Yeah. All right, but that general. Mm -hmm. So in what way do you want to build up the entrepreneurship? That is the thing I know. Can never say like you know you, you know want what? more customers. You want more. You want more publicity. You know what? in a business you want, you want more, more money. You want money. Make more money. Yeah, but it's a chain reaction. The yeah. money now go just arrive at your door. What you do to get it? it? Cold <laughs> We need to find out if it's cold. Money has never just arrived at our door, right? Mm. So you have to make me know mm. what because it have to be like you have a game plan to get that the more the money. Thing. The more money the goal enough. Yeah. But what you have to do for get that's to that point. Work point I need to find out what would be the game plan to All right, get so go work money. on that as well. Yeah. You have so, to start with the publicity. <laughs> mm -hmm. Make people know about your business. Alright, so Deva will be dealing with the publicity. Deva will be dealing with the Smiles. <laughs> so Jada deal with customer service. Keep <laughs> what you deal with. Purpose found. <laughs> Just a per see the people all in one solution, right? All here, of a sudden, she bubble all over again. Get in there, man. Right, see? so I wanted to get into that a bit because I want to be realistic with you, with you guys. I don't mm. believe in just coming on air and just telling y'all to do this. Mm -hmm. Mama, can you say we are struggle too? We have to figure it out too. I'll, I'll, we now have the answers. I'm going here by March. Who we'll lose 10 pounds? Who depend on goal? Who we'll, we'll, we'll open up new business? Who is on yeah. goal? Who mm -hmm. is close yeah. to? Yeah. yeah. I actually have a book I'm going to lend you. Really? 
Mm. Yes, it's called purpose driven because I felt like that and I bought it. And it said, you can't ask the creation what's its purpose. You can't ask a chair mm. what you were created to do. You have to ask the creator. Mm. And the book is surrounded about that. Right. Megalene, that. See? Don't make the ball. Are you reading us? Yes. You need to pray more. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. a meme. You get up my And do you read? You read books too, though? I read a lot All of right, books. So I'm going to give you purpose. Because some people, if I give you a book here, you know you read. Tell them. <laughs> So do you have it in all <laughs> your book? Put out, yeah. Listen, yeah. No, but I have that. Mm. Also, stop featuring KFC. I don't know what is me. Alright, no. First of all, no one that's so like so you have to take the God in prayer. Yeah. <laughs> because this song is supernatural. No, KFC have a hold on Jamaica. What, what we need to do though is Kim. What I think I can do, I can actually print some pictures of Jane and put them up in KFC. So do not <laughs> no, 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 under that. Under that. <laughs> Welcome like up to the listeners out there. Yeah. We'll see Jada. Jada. I can't see. Load her up. Right. Jada. <laughs> Jada, is that you? I'm taking the food from her. No, don't do that. This is Jada in the KFC line in a cap and pull over. I'm a drug dealer. The tent, please. Listen, if you're sick, don't go to KFC. 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 Don't Send it in. Yeah. Same you. way, so Jada spotted and the whole we will report it. <laughs> right. You know, I know it was bad. I went to the get food when my mom and I went to get food, and the lady at the drive thru she's like, Wait, that voice is on fucking oh, yeah. I was yeah. like, No, she did. I know Kim that's serious got the girl. Now I go write the shit every time, you know. No, I so know. So if she pick up advice, I um, remember me of so guys, like her, okay. like Jada, okay. I have an unhealthy addiction to pizza. Pizza oh. is my kryptonite. Mm -hmm. And I remember one time I called the pizza place and she said, Hi Kim! What? <laughs> I felt like that was the moment. It depends, you know, because sometimes... not embarrassed? No, but... Listen! Like, no, 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 me no, no, sometimes I'm the number, you know, because I'm a number, number yeah. but that was not the, the impact I had you for... You memorize my number. You see me, number. and you could have said, Hi, Kim. Hi, Kim. You ordered the usual. That was the pivot in my life. <laughs> that the I had a problem. I did not even get to put... Number point is, I didn't get to put it. She's like, we don't have any wings of it. I was like, hold on. You know, start, start, what do you know about me? What do you know about me? What do you... I was like, actually, today, I never wanted wings. I had to come up with something. Oh, if you did want the wings, you're going with something else. I'm going because with she's so not showing you up like that. So, fries, please. <laughs> I'm leaving with fries. Okay. Yes, he sells salad, not you? No. All right, no. all right, all right, Deborah. Says nobody. Deborah. Says nobody. <laughs> nobody remembers. What is a salad like here? They do. You know, to be honest, yeah. I've yeah. never seen anybody order a cake. Yeah. The closest to come are Kosla. Yes. <laughs> They sell salad. You mean coleslaw? No man, them sell salad. I kid you not. Which KFC does? KFC sells salad because I remember that I went into a KFC and I'm like, I'm foreign. I'm a Jamaica. I'm a foreign. You travel regular? Yeah, can't you? No, but another thing. Another thing. The fact that KFC sells salad, but we've never seen it. Even when we're in the line, we don't see nobody order it. And I don't know a tree. Not only that, I have seen KFC commercials. Do you recall anyone talking about Chai or new mega salad? Chai or new mega salad? Because that's not what sells. Because that's not what sells. Chai or new mega salad? Because that's not what sells. Because that's not what sells. And if you are, if you're gonna buy salad from KFC, guys, if you realize that nobody now buy the salad, see, are you gonna see the salad that advertise? See. We have to add that salad. You know, we all last year, cabbage at the end. I don't want them to put on a way to sell. Them so use the they always have fresh lettuce to put in a zinger. So, wait, so basically, yes, the zinger is a vegetable that I take. So no, I don't know. Somebody order one, and I'm like, hold on, I'm just going to serve it. Take yeah. the lettuce. Yeah, give it to me. Because finally, somebody go add our salad. I would don't lose up everything. But the, the salad, the, the, the lettuce don't come in a zinger, so them have it run the back. Yeah, before. but what I'm saying is that. Them, them they set for the and a salad lettuce that. Salad Santa lettuce Shakespeare said Wendy's but not KFC See? salad. Yes, no way. Yeah, yeah, no, Carty, I, I tried. <laughs> Wendy's salad is 1,000 cents. Gee John said, if you hear someone ordering 8 to 10 pieces of wings, fries and corn, it's Jada. Jada go home. Wow. Jada go right home. Them know the shrimps there. <laughs> And probably shrimps too. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually fruit punch. So. You see, look at that. Look at that. So, guys, what we're trying to say is make small changes. So, what I was going to get to with the other steps, we're going to wrap it up quickly. Number four, anticipate problems. Wow. So, reaching your goal will not be easy. 
there will be problems so make a list of what they'll be so for me me know say food i'm a struggle a list of food i'm a struggle right mm -hmm. if you think about it you'll be able to anticipate problems at certain times of the day with spe um, specific people or in specific situations once you've identified the times that will probably be hard work oh well once you've identified the times that will probably be hard work out ways to cope with them when they inevitably crop up if you keep this tip in mind you can learn how to keep a new year's resolutions like for me let me give you the perfect example i know that i love juice i'm a juice drinker all my life before like probably the past two years water never really do nothing for me right so every time i'm thirsty juice soda have to be something like that so when i made that change i was like you know what i'm gonna start to eat better and whatever i would avoid the juice aisle in the supermarket that right, was my right, go-to right. i me not go in the aisle mm. if me not see it exactly. and if i'm thirsty guess what if water in the house what you gonna do drink water drink water <laughs> so i had to force myself i have a friend as well she love dessert she love pastry but anytime you're not going to the supermarket avoid the pastry aisle so as simple as it sounds you know it makes a difference i just had to discipline myself not to buy it and then no guys I am a water drink all day, okay. every day, every week. You know, you, every know, you know what the problem is? It's like, I used to do that, okay? When I used to have a lunch and something like Yeah, water alone, I never buy juice. Juice. I said, no! No! <laughs> no, I'm not going to I'm go back up with this. Because you have to look at water for you. Yeah. Because I'm full of your water bottle. That's what I do. I don't buy juice. I don't know when, what do you have to start drinking juice again? You start buying juice again? I want to fight myself. I used to like, don't even know when it happened. I yeah, just take over exactly. the thing. So I need to switch like, back. And the same thing because I did cut out sugar one time. And then I slim down to you? Yeah. Oh and you just undo days. everything, so... And the girl said, guess who's back? <laughs> back again. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah. But, but 2022, we're going to do it. 2023, it might seem so. Last year, we're going to do it. Unstuck yourself. Unstuck yourself. You know what I'm grateful for? I actually don't have a sweet tooth. I don't have one either. Jada, I can exist yes, without that. Catch up a KFC no, but KFC no, but is no, not no, a no. sweet tooth. It's not, a, a KFC it's a tooth. tooth. It's a spicy tooth. It's a Burger King. No, no, not Burger King. It's a, a barbecue and spicy thing. No, but other spices don't. and herbs are KFC up. Oh, mm. yeah. They tie you with the over. They tie them with right? them. They have a 13th one for Jada I here. I'm going to St. Mary. No, no, what? What? Uh, what? Uh, no, okay. what? <laughs> Number five, track your progress. <laughs> yes, right? So there's nothing more motivating than seeing how far you've come and that is truth guys you see when you if you work and lose weight and you mm. see the weight gone you feel like you're yeah. rich you never reach your final you going know, up you, know about, you lose two pounds you and know you're know like kim? yo you know about kim what oh. like i say 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 yo me lose weight now i say yeah and then you reach out to the rest and say but yo you are slim down listen oh Listen, there was a point in my life, every corner of my turn, you lose it, you look good, man. I tell you what I couldn't talk to me. The same clothes, I'm away from here, I'm away from here, I'm going to feel brand new in the same clothes. Right? And them type of life there. Listen to me. So you have to track your progress because you will feel, guys, you will feel it. Right? So, make sure if you want to give yourself extra reassurance that you are heading in the right direction, track your progress. Thanks to technology, this has become easy to do. For instance, you can use an app to check off the days where you have worked towards your goal. Is that one ever if you <laughs> Same. Same. And my iPhone. And I, I locked myself today. Perm. <laughs> you what? I locked myself. Her Maybe steps, her steps. steps. My steps, I oh. lock it. Like, okay. You so you can step. do that. Okay. I walk. If so you, you guys want. walk in together? Watch them. <laughs> oh, okay. iPhone users. Okay, iPhone users. Kati, why you all show off? Kati said, I just need to miss one meal when my weight start drop. Same, yeah, that's, that's what I said. Same too. Same when one. I didn't get to eat lunch today, I didn't eat lunch until like school was like finished, like three o'clock. I know what that means. And I was like, look, I'm gonna look for me real good. I look slim, don't. So, no, I'm gonna say it was. I'm gonna the track, I'm gonna track, I'm gonna that way I track. No, Kati said, she just need to miss one meal to lose weight. Kati, talk to me. That's her, why she has show off. How can I get your metabolism? And she said, her new year resolution start work already she's weeding out anyone who constantly upsets our spirits mm -hmm. so, so Lionel don't talk to her me and, Kati, <laughs> me, and, me and Kati are very good terms me and Kati are very quite fine but what I'm saying is Kati when you are weed out them people like, you're not afraid they're going to fall alone <laughs> but then that's, we, that's better than having the wrong company everybody stresses yeah. some time, you know. being yeah. alone is better than having the wrong company so mm. when you see that you've come far and all the sacrifices you've made were worthwhile you'll be more motivated to stay on track 
Reviewing all the effort you have made is also a great strategy for days when you feel that your motivation is dwindling. Step six, remember your past failures. So for me, I figured out all the things that I could not commit to long term and to our I try it different. I'll be more realistic. Life is likely, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the best tricks you will learn in how to make a new year resolution is to take a look at your previous failures. This way, you won't make those mistakes again. If you continuously make the same mistakes year after year, your self-esteem will be drastically affected. If you want to set new year resolutions, you've, you failed to keep in the past, evaluate your lapses. What strategies did you make that caused you to slip out of it? Were there things that motivate you, motivated you to work harder in achieving your goal? As much as you can be flexible, there's nothing wrong with altering your resolution to make it more realistic. Who knows, you may see better results if you change your approach, right? Um, ha! Don't Tati say, Don't be <laughs> oh, Watch Jada began. The KFC talk a stress <laughs> Hungry right away. Number seven, accept occasional slip ups. Whether you have small or big goals, failure is normal. If you do fail and let's say, for example, sneak a cigarette or you miss a walk or you shout at the kids one morning, don't hate yourself for it. There's nothing wrong with occasional slips. Make a note of the triggers and bad habits that cause this setback and vote to learn a lesson from them. If you know that alcohol makes you crave cigarettes and oversleep the next day, then cut back on it. If you know the morning rush before school makes you shout, then get up earlier or prepare things the night before to make it easier on you. Perseverance is the key to success. Set goals, try again, keep trying, and you will succeed. And for the final tip, plan your rewards. Yes, reward yourself, people. You yes. deserve it. And don't no, reward not with yourself KFC. with your oh, grind. No. Don't reward yourself with your problem. Right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so small rewards are great <laughs> encouragement to keep you going during the hardest first days. So make sure to master this step in how to make a New Year's resolution. After that, you can probably reward yourself once a week with, let's say, a magazine or a long distance call to support your friends and family, a party, a trip to the movies, or whatever makes you tick, whatever floats your boat. Mm -hmm. Later, you can change the rewards to monthly, and then at the end of the year, you can pick an anniversary reward, something that you look forward to. You deserve it, and you will have earned it. So, overall, every person has struggled to make New Year's resolutions and maintain them. So if you've had a bad track record and keeping your resolutions in the past, do not beat yourself up too much. There is still hope. What sets success and failure apart is long-term commitment. Now that you know how to make New Year's resolutions and it's not too late to make them, you are one step closer to achieving your goals. Yeah, right? So guys, we need to work on setting proper New Year's resolutions. We're trying to be better people, right? And yeah, New Year's may not be the best time for it, but it's something we automatically feel. A new year, we want new stuff. We want to be better, we want to improve in some way. And nothing is wrong with that, but do so wisely. Ensure you're smart about your goals. And I'm telling you, it'll make a difference. I don't mean to after you follow them step, you have got smooth sailing for the rest of the year, you know. They got hiccups, they got slip ups, but you can overcome it. Start again. Don't be afraid to start again. All if a March, start over the goal. The year not done yet. Once you have time, you still have hope. All right. So that is it for talk the thing with Kim. Cassie says it's all about what makes me happy. Well, guess what? Prioritize your happiness. And what are the steps you're putting in place to maintain that you prioritize? Well, to maintain you prioritizing your happiness. It's all, a, it's all a step game, you know, make your goals, work on it. Yeah. So, that is it for Talk the Team with Kim. All right, Kim, I'm going to ask you to send me that information because I'm going to also need to send out that smart tip for the resolution. Yes, I, I like that. I will definitely <laughs> send it to you. Carty said, thanks for a great show again, guys. Stay safe. And guys, we pray that for you as well. And whatever your resolutions are, 
really do hope that you work towards it and that it works out for you. That's really it. Yeah. I really hope it works out for you. Alright, congrats to all our winners for today. Thanks to all our guests that passed through. Big up to Chaps, big up to Visa, Dan, big up to the whole Taylor Made events crew. Yes, and for the Abs Dance Fitness giveaway, the winner will be announced on the page if we have yeah. the yeah, we, we, we're going to post it on the page later, mm -hmm. you know, so look out for that for the Abs Dance Fitness giveaway. And we have more giveaways to come up with us, so guys, make sure to stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, and make sure you follow Fantastic 93 FM if you're not following it. What are you doing with 2023? Big up you know? the good body abs <laughs> over yes. there, Abby, Gail. Big up yourself, Abs, abs Dance, Dance Fitness. I know where the Fantastic team have a special video coming for Uno. Coming for Uno with Abs Dance Fitness. No worry about it. Look out for it. Make sure to put on the notifications. Come and work for it. No worry about it. So I don't know the vibe, people. It's all about Fantastic Friday. Hope you guys tune in next week for another great show. Yes. Any final words? Any big ups from uh, Deva or Jada? Kim, Kim, Kim. Big up myself. And uh -huh. big up my mother, Michelle. So you could big up mommy first. Anyway, come to Jada. <laughs> big up Miss Deb all day, every day. All right. And my sister. And for all the one out there in Ray, you like, Kim, you big up. All the listeners out there, the fantastic family, all the right. winners, the supporters, we love it. We love y'all. Keep tuning in and we'll keep de uh, delivering a great show for y'all. Don't uh, forget to like, like comment, comment, share, share and, and subscribe. Sir, we're here, big up. I want to big up to everybody got it locked in. Big up to the Spoilers crew. Big up to the Winnow Road Massive. Big up to the Rock Ford crew. Big up to the Mountain View Massive. Big up to everybody when tuning into New Start Entry from Fantastic Fridays. You know the Schweffs. Big up to the Burgerman crew. You don't know, so it's all about all Aquarian and Burgerman boat bash of um, the 28th of January. So tune in for more details. And we say what? We're making resolutions. We're keeping them. Take it out with this one. <laughs> Can you get that?